Yeah. Oh, all right. That's nice that they, yeah. Yeah, I, I read it. I told you I said, okay. Did you see what I said in the text? Now, what I'm trying to remember is go far right into this mall area. I'm just trying to see something. Because, you know, for, even though I've been out, I'm still, you know, I still have to find my way around at times. Yeah. I see it. I'm trying to see how we can get up there. The diner's over there up on the hill, like, like I was saying. Oh, okay. So I remember that. Yeah. Now, I was thinking about this other place we're going to called Amy's. But their line stands around the corner sometimes. That's how good it is. Do you want your sheet back, honey? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I got a problem anxiety uh issue sometimes, man, because like I gotta stay focused and pay attention to where I'm going and you know, like I'm always alert. Mm -hmm. Especially when, you know, I'm in New York. I gotta stay focused. I didn't my phone. I didn't set my phone down a couple times and lost my phone. And when I first came home and I got a phone, everybody used to say, "Why are you so reckless? You just leave your phone anywhere on the counter." I said, "Ain't nobody gonna take that." And they used to be like, "Oh yes, they will." I didn't think it mattered that much, but it really did. Somebody uh, they they pick it up in a heartbeat. So I've lost. I think I've lost about honestly. In seven years, I probably lost about 10 cell phones. Really? Yeah. Fell asleep on the train before. When I just got up, I just got up, forgot my uh, cell phone there. I forgot it on the bus before. The big line, gotcha. but okay. no cheese. I, I, I don't know. Just sometimes I just, I don't feel, I mean, I'm comfortable. I just don't feel comfortable. Probably after being away all those years. And like, you're not going just overnight. You spend 33 years, it's different for everybody. Mine is just. You know, like I said, I get anxiety things, get extra hype when I'm out here because I'm like more on alert and stuff. And in seven years, my life ain't gonna just change and flip over to adjust in just seven years after 33 years. And during those 33 years, most of them was during my uh, uh, early development stages of, of the juvenile changes. So it has a lot to probably do with that too, you know, so. So wait, what were you just talking about with the shit on the shingle? Thing? I said uh, shit on the shingle is uh, pretty good if it's made right. What exactly is it? It's like a chip beef over uh, with a gravy, like a, a gravy. You pour it over the toast. Yeah. Yeah. It got it served its purpose in there. You know, it got me filled. Yeah. You know, a lot of people didn't like it. I, I, you know, if it was made right, I say I enjoyed it pretty much. Yeah. It's something that I pick up out here. There's a song on Die Jim Crow. LP called Shit on the Shingle that's about prison food. So it's kind of cool that you just brought that up. Yeah, yeah. I seen it on the menu. I was just saying, I just thought about it. Just reflected. As soon as I saw it, the yeah. grazed beef, it's not chip beef over there. It turned the shit in the shingle for me. Yeah. To other people, you know, it's like chip beef over toast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about that. I know about shit on the shingle. Yeah. We're here with Maxwell at the Cherry Hill Diner. It's been. Uh, not too long since I last saw you, but it's been almost two years since our Maxwell Melvin's interview when we first met. That was February 2017. So, um, we're still kicking it and gonna be working on some stuff for the LP together. And, uh, what have you been up to? I've been, uh, myself, I've been doing a few presentations, uh, talking to the kids, interacting, going into schools, uh, you know, just trying to connect, make connections here and there with, with different people to do what I enjoy doing as far as uh, sharing my life story in hopes that others won't have to relive what I lived already and uh, just hoping to get across to some of them out there. It doesn't have to just be kids, it can be adults, it can be anybody. 
yeah. just trying to do my part of, you know, what I enjoy doing. You know, if I can have that impact on somebody's life or help turn somebody's life around, I have no problem with doing that. This is the last stop on the Dijon Crow Southern Trip 2018. So I was telling Maxwell that um, I was in Mississippi and got access to record with the youth there, which is going to be pretty intense. And then I also went to two rehearsals. I didn't tell you this, but I went to two rehearsals in South Carolina at a men's prison and the women's prison there. So there's some really good talent. Yeah. yeah. But I'm a, I'm a little excited about the one working with the teens. Yeah. Cause like I said, that's like you said, it's gonna be pretty intense, and um, I'm sure them kids got a lot of stories to tell. Yeah. Whether it's a lot of uh, horrors, uh, a lot of nightmares, or anything, they got a lot of things to share. Definitely. So I'll definitely be looking forward to that one to hear what they gotta say, to hear their side of the story. You know, because everybody trying to tell their story, they need to tell their own story, and you know, by the Dem Crow Project, will afford them that opportunity to be a, allow them to be a voice to be heard, you know? How's the um, maple syrup with the sausage? It tastes all right, pretty good. Gives it a little taste, add that extra taste to it. Yeah. Yeah, as I said, I'm not a breakfast guy, but if I'm gonna eat breakfast, I'm gonna customize it so I can enjoy it. Yeah. Did you eat breakfast in, inside much? Not a whole lot. No, not a whole lot. My main breakfast was a cup of coffee in the morning. Yeah. The special days when they had grits and eggs. Yeah. I'm I've eaten breakfast when they had grits and eggs. I ate, yeah, yeah. I would eat. I definitely would eat. Yeah. Yeah. And then when if, if the, the, the shit on the shingle was all right, I would definitely eat, on those two days. I would eat breakfast. Mm. You know, something I don't, as I said, I don't usually eat breakfast. It kind of like slows me down, you know? Mm. I like to, yeah, I like to look forward to eating. Because it, it, it fills me and I, I get lazy. Yeah. Yeah, I get lazy. So I avoid eating breakfast. And, and you know, though they say it's the most important meal, but for me it's not the most important meal. It can be the most damaging meal for me in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could have went on that uh, conference in Texas, though. You know, like you said, it might come to New York next. I might be able to make New York or next year. Yeah. I might be able to make the conference with you. Well, if it's in New York, you should oh, definitely. Yeah. I will. I will. But even if it's in Texas, yeah. you should try to come. I definitely will. What's up, Ark? Ain't not much, man. Just check to see how everything went afterwards, man. Oh, it went great. Everything went great. Okay, okay. It was a really positive day. I can't talk for too long right now because I'm kind of in the middle of some stuff, but check this out. I'm over here. Remember how I was telling you about the Grammy-nominated group, Lifers Group? Yeah. Yeah, I'm over here with Maxwell Melvins, who started Lifers Group. He wanted to just say what's up for a minute. Oh, man, that's what's up, man. Hello, how you doing, bro? It's on speaker. My phone's busted. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing all right, bro. You know? How's everything coming yeah, along for man. you in there? It's coming good, man. It's, it's going real good, man. I'm talking about everybody got a positive attitude. Yeah. I'm trying to put that work in, man. Oh, all right. That's cool. But definitely, definitely keep your head up. You know, keep looking ahead, you know? It's going to get greater later. Definitely. All right? And it, yeah, it, man, and it's nice speaking with you too. And uh yeah, you too, bro. be safe, my brother. Uh, you too, please. All right. So when is the next time I'll see you? Uh, you should see me on the 16th uh, of November. You're gonna be uh, over in Brownsville. Yeah. What's that? I forgot the school name. You know, at the school. All, All right. right. Well, great to see you, brother. All right. You too. Be safe. You'll have a safe trip. All right. All right. All right. Peace, Peace out. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. I'll see you again. Yeah. All right.